This week we take you to a few tourist spots as well as a few local spots in Krabi province. Do a bit comparing price wise, scenery wise and talk about which ones are a bit overrated and which ones are a bit underrated. Starting with one of Krabi's favorite tourist attractions, the Emerald Pools. A turquoise blue pool in the middle of the jungle with fresh water supplied from natural streams coming down the hill. Before we continue, we'll quickly go back to the entrance and talk prices and ways to get here. Because the pools are located in a national park, you can expect to pay an entrance fee. Locals pay 10 to 20 baht and foreigners 100 to 200 Thai baht. This you need to pay at the entrance after checking your temperature and signing in. Once you're inside the park, you can either follow the gravel road which will lead you straight to Emerald Pools or take the scenic path through the jungle. We took the scenic path but if you're pressed for time, we suggest taking the gravel road because it's almost half the distance. There is a few different natural pools in the park but the Emerald Pool is the only one you can swim in and even though it's only 1.5 meters deep, it really is such a nice experience to swim in this crystal clear water. In our opinion, swimming in the Emerald Pool is the best part of this trip. But if you're up for it, there's another beautiful blue pond around 15 minutes walk from Emerald. Unfortunately, you can't swim here, but to us, it was definitely worth stopping here, mainly because of the striking blue color of the water and just the serenity of the lush jungle surrounding it. Even though emerald pools are really pretty, it can become super touristy and the national park fees does add up. So another great activity we suggest is renting a scooter and driving in between Krabi's towering limestone cliffs. And after staying in Krabi for more than a week now, exploring quite a bit of this area, we found a lovely coffee garden or water park not far from our Nang. There's not a lot of English information available about this park online. Even the Google Map links is in Thai. So we will leave the link in the description below and fill you in on the rest. The entrance fee is 20 Thai baht per person. Then you can use and enjoy all the amenities in the park. And just like Nui Beach in Phuket, there's a lot of photo opportunities available. As well as a few water activities, a restaurant and a coffee shop. If you are driving through Krabi province or exploring the area, we would definitely suggest stopping here for a quick lunch or a cup of coffee. And if you follow the main road from Awunang to Krabi, you will also pass a few very interesting coffee shops and restaurants. So if you haven't eaten lunch or drink coffee yet, you can stop at any one of these and just enjoy the beautiful green valley around you.
The next place on our list is Riley Beach, an extremely popular tourist attraction in Krabi province. And even though Riley Beach is connected to the mainland, it's only accessible by boat. You can book a boat ticket at Aonang Boat Service Club. A ticket there and back will cost you 200 Thai baht per person. Unless you stay the night, then you can book a one-way ticket for 100 Thai baht. The boat trip from Awunang to Riley only takes around 10 minutes. They drop you off at Riley West, the site with the majority of the resorts, restaurants and bars on. To be honest, we think that this site is a little bit overrated, over touristy and the price of food and drinks are more than double than what you would pay on the mainland. That said, if you go to the east side and Pranang Cave, you will understand why this is such a popular destination. Towering limestone cliffs hanging over the water with people climbing on the cliffs, playing football and enjoying other beach activities. The water is also not as shallow so it's nice for swimming and of course it does have a really beautiful view. Krabi province has many amazing things to do and places to visit. But if we could recommend only one thing, it would be to rent a kayak at Talon Bay and explore the surrounding area. It is possible to go to a tour agency in Awanang or Krabi and book a tour from there, but that could cost anything from 1,000 to 2,000 Thai baht per person. We suggest going straight to Talent Pier and renting a kayak from there. We paid 500 Thai baht for a double kayak for half a day. We also suggest doing a little bit of research beforehand. Look at the map, decide where you want to go first and where you like to end. This area is full of amazing hidden beaches, caves and small beautiful waterways in between mangroves.
If you're not yet convinced to come to this side of Krabi, there's another amazing local spot nearby to watch the sunset from, Khao Tong Hill. We will leave the link in the description below. So to get there, you need to leave your scooter at the designated parking area below, then buy a shuttle ticket, which is 20 baht per person, then the shuttle will drive you up the hill, where there's not only a breathtaking view, but also a lovely cafe where you can enjoy the sunset from. The last place on our list is Awunang Beach, the main and the most popular beach travelers visit when coming to Krabi area. We can't say it's the best beach for swimming, but it does have a pretty nice sunset with beautiful silhouettes of long tail boats in the background. There's also a lot of restaurants and shops nearby and the chances of seeing a fire show on the beach is also pretty high.